Hi! I'm about to go play dodgeball. I'm very excited. I don't know if it's apparent. Can you tell? <laughs> Today's episode of Dodgeball, we're welcoming back Captain James, who is in the blue t-shirt, and Phil, who is in the black t-shirt. The first couple of clips are so short because Phil kept catching out the opposition's throws and there wasn't a lot of action. <laughs> So I cut a lot of it out. Also, I don't think that painting on the wall behind us was there in any of the prior clips. It does look a little bit distracting to me, at least. But I hope you guys still enjoy watching. <laughs> oh. I got a comment on one of my previous vlogs, basically asking why, <laughs> why dodgeball? What got me into dodgeball and if I do any other sports? Fun fact is that when I had joined dodgeball, I joined with Laura, and Laura was the only person that I knew. So we quickly befriended this amazing group of people, and this is our second season together. What got me into dodgeball is I really felt a desire to join a team sport, and I wasn't exactly sure what. I previously played netball and wanted something different, and so when I was looking at the list of sports, dodgeball just seemed highlighted. So I approached Laura and I asked if she was interested to join with me and she, without hesitation, said yes. So we joined a team and here we are. <laughs> Side note, I really want to talk about this because I think it's really important and this kind of stuff always means a lot to me. So I just wanted to share it here as well, I guess. I received a very beautiful message from a very close friend of mine and it made quite an impact on me. So it made me think how many other people may need to hear something similar. So the next part of my voiceover will be the message that I would love to share with you, whoever you are, <laughs> watching this, listening to this. I really hope it makes an impact on you or makes you realise that nothing external from you should change your perception of your own value because your worth is, it's immeasurable regardless what anybody else says, thinks or how they behave toward you. Okay, bye. <laughs> the following is a bit of what my friend sent me. Additionally, I wanted to add my own message. So, <laughs> I hope you like it. <clears throat> okay. I hope you realise you are a good person. You make people laugh and smile. Sometimes, they even think about the things you did for them or said to them months and years later. People are proud to call you their friend. And you bring so many people so much joy. Why am I saying this? <laughs> Sometimes I don't think we realise the impact we make on other people's lives. And it's so easy to forget that when other things are going on in our own. Additionally, the perspective I have on this is we have so many secret admirers and we have no idea. Because if you think about it, how many times have you thought something beautiful about somebody else? and not voiced your opinion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whether realised or not, you make a massive impact on the people around you. It doesn't matter how many times you think you've made mistakes in life, I think as long as you learn from them and move past them and forgive yourself. I think forgiving yourself is very important. <laughs> but before this turns into a massive therapy session, I might, <laughs> I might put a pin in it there and go back to talking about dodgeball. But... I just want you, whoever you are, listening to this, watching this, to know that no matter how small you think your impact is, it is much larger than you think. I don't know if you noticed, me and Laura are matching. All black. somewhat struggling to think of things to say in the voiceover because of the depth of the message that I <laughs> shared earlier. Something pretty cool that happened here is I attempted to do a kamikaze and I missed but that's okay because Laura got her out. <laughs> so when we were versing this team I don't know if any of my other teammates felt the same way but I found it very difficult to figure out who on their team was actually off the court because we'd stand against the wall in the back and I would assume they're still playing and then I'd hit them and then they'd say, oh, I'm out. And it's, it was kind of just confusing. Like, can you move to the side then? <laughs> I thought 
thought this part was really funny. Alex was the last man standing and Phil, <laughs> Phil picked up a ball and threw it at him. <laughs> I think Kyle faking is actually so genius because if you look at his tactic here, he's done it to the point where I think it's confused the opposition. <laughs> so when he finally threw the ball, it genuinely hit him because he probably wasn't expecting Kyle to release the ball. Genius. Also, Laura, I'm so sorry. <laughs> did not know you were there i'll look behind me next time i feel really bad re-watching this kamikaze attempt by phil and you know what james <laughs> i'm sorry i did the same thing to you i did to laura i need to look where i'm throwing <laughs> throwing the ball to my teammates so sorry guys okay now look at alex who is the guy in that really stylish hawaiian shirt <laughs> i just always think it's really impressive when one of my teammates runs for the ball and ends up getting more than one ball Amazing. All right, so this clip is very cool, but it's quite annoying that it wasn't actually on caught on camera. Rafe, whose head you can see in the bottom left corner of the screen, caught the ball between his ankles. <laughs> inaudible but when Alex said that I asked him if he was talking to me because the opposition caught me out I think twice at this stage <laughs> The teamwork that Laura and Sean always do together is always so good, but this clip, <laughs> this clip I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> At the beginning of this match, I, I don't think I've seen anybody do this, but Rafe got three of the balls. <laughs> uniforms to be that. Vote for your uniform, you two. Which one? Bye, Rafe. Take good care of yourself, Rafe. Right? <laughs> I was going to say Just something and then I was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Yeah. No. No. You can't do that. Why not? I know you wear silver. I love it. Gosh, guys, look. I can't do that. This girl behind I am already in. Like, I don't really know what's going on. The game has ended for the night, but apparently there's something we, happening. We just really love each other so much in this team. We don't want to go home. That's actually the truth. I didn't want to say that, but the cut's out of the bag. Dodgeballs have been packed away, but the main players are still here. So. <laughs> to go back to the therapy session theme of today's <laughs> vlog. 
<laughs> I've gotten a few questions about this actually, but I just vividly remember this one interaction I had with somebody who messaged me about confidence. Firstly, it's very easy to portray something completely different than how you actually feel on social media, so never compare yourself. Secondly, <laughs> to me, confidence isn't necessarily about perfection. It's just about accepting yourself for who you are, where you are at the present moment, and I guess persevering through any doubts or insecurities that you may have. Something that helps me and my confidence and my mentality is creating discipline. An example of that would be if I tell myself I'm going to do something, I'm going to commit to it and I will actually do it. Because if I don't do it, I'm pretty sure there's also psychology behind this, but I think that when you don't keep promises to yourself, you lose confidence in yourself because you're saying you're going to do something and you don't do it. So you're essentially not even listening to yourself. I think it's also just having a lot of resilience to face your fears. I might just end I might just end it there, but when you have such a strong belief in yourself, you will also begin to trust yourself much more. So it goes back to what I was saying earlier, when you say you're going to do something and you follow through with it, you also begin to trust yourself more, which will build your confidence naturally. Until the next therapy session, I hope you enjoyed listening to this one. <laughs> It was funny because Captain James was like, Jeanette, that's not a dodgeball after I threw the ball at Alex. <laughs> also, haha, Sean, you missed. Boo. Absolute chaos. I love us so much. Sorry, that sounds really... <laughs> it's just yeah. warming up. The, what, the energy in here feels good. Yeah. It's, it's all about the energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is time to go. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> On Saturday morning, I really wanted to watch the sunrise at Palm Beach, so I drove my car to the beach. But I think because of the rain, it wasn't really much of a sunrise. Completely missed the sunrise, actually, because it was just grey skies. But it was still beautiful, and once the sun came out, it was even more beautiful. Ready to play paintball. Hi, my name is whatever. This is me before paintball. <laughs> Brave. This, this is me after paintball. Show us it's just Wait. A, it's a Oh, butt. it looks like a mosquito bite. What about the hit that got you in the... Oh, I mean, I can take my hands off. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's me, John Wick, me before paintball. Let's go. My name's Alex, and this is me after paintball. Just kidding. <laughs> so much fun. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's Laura, and this is me before any paintballs. Hi, I'm Laura, and Sorry. this is me after paintball. Mwah. Oh, that ball. was really cute. Who else? Hi, I'm Laura, and this is me after paintball. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm James. Oh, shit, he's tall. Before Hang paintball. on. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm James, and this is me before paintball. My name's James, and this is me after paintball. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. A <laughs> yeah, you need a wound. I don't feel everyone's gonna get f***ed up. <laughs> yeah. My name's Phil. I'm Instead so of effing things up, I got effed up. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jeanette, and this is me after paintball. Woohoo! Hi, I'm Jeanette, and this is me after paintball. Oh. <laughs> what was that reaction? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hi, this is Sean. This is me before paintball. <laughs> when I'm Sean, this small little bump is from my paintball. No, what do I say? I'm done paintball. <laughs> this is, um, this is this me after paintball. I'm Sean. This is me after paintball. That's fine. And here's my little bump. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kyle. Can't wait for paintball. <laughs> yes, perfect. Perfect. Just like that. <laughs> Paintball. Yeah, I'm very excited. How, how are you? Yeah. I'm a bit nervous actually. I've never played paintball, and all I've heard is 
prison. Um, yeah. We've done a couple okay. of things actually, Laura and I, for the first time. Motorcycle license. Yes. Hey, Paul, what's next? Um, Skydive? Actually. Oh, no. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Love that. Down for anything. Wait, let's do that again. Wait, paintball is like. Yeah. That was a good one. Do you have any? Okay. That's great. Right. Or, um, this is the greatest thing, right? So we're at a place called Die Hard Paintball. We had to sign. Oh, wait, wait. Did you know that? I didn't even read it. You didn't even read the fine print? Are you an adult? Are you Be advised, you will bruise. Say that and actually, be advised, it will hurt. I bruise easily. I bruise like a peach. Well, because the overarching smell of people and pain is strong. I'm already happy, and I don't know if it's just I'm done with Jeanette or I'm here. <laughs> So we're also here live um, from the paintball. This is actually before paintball, not even after. <laughs> I've got some physio happening from the actually newest number one physio in Sydney. Um, rolled ankle from the city to surf. Yeah. I was trying to catch up with Laura. I was trying to keep <laughs> Um, if anyone wants more ten dollars of a photo for the foot, <laughs> I got hit here and I got hit here. Can you see the bruise? <laughs> it's and it's bleeding. It's bleeding. Hey guys, it's crazy. I think I got look at that. That's my wall paint battle scar right there. Um, let me check it out. Yeah, these masks. Mine kept fogging. Yeah, yours? it gets really foggy. But yeah. Doesn't it look like so oh, intimidating? <laughs> God, you look like the Mortal Kombat guy. Yes. What's his name? Flawless Victory. <laughs> I don't know the name of I'm the ready. guy. It, it does hurt. I can feel that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was just telling them my bruise and it's mm. bleeding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta kiss it better. Up to some water pole. You know how it is? After paintball. After paintball. Yep. yep. To celebrate. <laughs> yep. There's James. Hello. Sean. Rafe, Hi. my turn. Phil, Hello. Alex, Hi. go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, so close. That was really close. <laughs> that was not close. Oh, you are so cute. You are so cute. Hi, beautiful. Hi. Oh, hi. You are so cute. Do you remember me from last time? I gave you lots of cuddles. Oh, let me carry you. Ah, ah. Hi. Say hi. Ah. Hi. <laughs> <was so> cute. <laughs> Family photo. <laughs> Guys, I missed the best part. Laura and James sunk three. Is that the correct? <laughs> oh. Did you get that? I hope so. I'm not sure. But. Oh, oh. oh cuddling with mama. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I got the worst yeah. possible note. Oh, wait, can we have a pyramid, please, or a triangle? It's thrilled. The other way. The world has to agree with me that Apple AirPods look like tiny hair dryers. Oh, and that's why. Okay. My, my apple. That makes sense. Yeah, it looks like a little tiny hand dryer. That's why she's cool. <laughs> Press against it. There you go. There you go. Perfect. I'm nervous. Okay. Wait. Boo. Swing and a miss. Oh. oh. That was great. Swing and a miss. Come on. You got it? No. no. Oh, almost. Who's close? <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, honestly, like, she was trans. So oh! Oh! Why the name Conquer Christianity tonight? Oh, oh shit! Wow. Where's Pierre Pump Player? Oh, my God. Wow. wow. Well done. What? The pizza? Not the, yeah, the, the pizza, but also I happened to get Rafe getting it in. I am. I'm At the same time, I was like, hey! That videographer over there. 
Who? Really? Who could you possibly be talking about? Uh, 